No, it wouldn't be as handy as sugar is at it. Jesus, coming up on a, yeah, it's coming up on a few years now, so maybe I'll be getting home before we know. I've been jammy, you know. Colin, great to see you. I think the last time was Banshee, that thing. Remember that one? That thing way back when. Yeah, how are you, Lucy? <laughs> I feel very it. lucky chatting to an Irishman at the moment. I mean, you really oh, are. Oh, it was great. I was amazing. I mean, when I saw the film, I just, he was just exquisite in it, you know? So happy for him. Yeah, I'm happy for, you, for all the Irish because you're yeah. such lovely people. Um, and I am also happy because this is incredible, Colin. Um, and your name of your character is in the title of the series. This is what dreams are made of, isn't it? I suppose so. God, I didn't even give it much thought. Yes, indeed. Yes. Another <laughs> box pick. It is such a fantastic show. And I Thanks, love the character. And I also love the fact that he's a, he's just a really nice guy. Yeah, um, that was that was kind of the nice counterpoint to it, you know, because it's a it's a noir piece and, and characters in noir films more often than not are kind of hard boiled. They have an edge to them. They've seen so much of the darker aspects of the human experience that they've become the darker aspects themselves. And this guy is just I don't know if he's a relentless idealist, but he, he's completely uncynical. Even though he has seen terrible things, he has this kind of belief in the goodness of human beings and he carries himself with a sweetness and an integrity that I just thought was a lovely counterpoint to what you usually get in the more hard-boiled world of noir, you know? Absolutely. I love the scene where uh, Sugar gives a homeless man some money. I was wondering, what's the kind of nicest thing that someone's done for you or maybe vice versa? The nicest thing someone's done for me, someone did something very recently that really touched me and I can't remember what it is. I'm going to keep thinking while we're talking more. <laughs> keep thinking about that. Um, also, I feel like it's bringing back the private investigator drama, you know, with its own little twist. It's really exciting. Were you happy to kind of delve into that? Because I guess it's a newish character for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I played a detective before and a couple of things, I think, but this it just felt really unique. It felt very original. And, and Los Angeles was obviously a, a very prominent character in the whole piece. And I knew that Fernando Morales, who directed it, was going to come in being Brazilian with an outsider's perspective. And Fernando doesn't live here, so he's not jaded by L.A. He's not, you know, bored of it or over it or cynical himself about it. Um, and I thought that was a lovely kind of marriage of directorial sensibility, him coming with his curiosity and his kind of keen interest in Los Angeles and all the facets of LA, top to bottom, across, left to right, all across the city. So it just felt very unique, the character, in that he was as sweet as he was, as, as kind of kind as he was, and as in love with human beings as he was, having seen the darkness that he'd been exposed to, you know? Absolutely. We see, do see LA in a beautiful light. Why don't you make a series in Ireland? Let's see that, you know, the same thing. <laughs> I know that would be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. I, it Lucy, every two or three years through no design of mine, I end up going home and shooting something. <laughs> every two or three years, triage, Andine, obviously Banshees. Um, so yeah, it'll be, Jesus, coming up on, a, yeah, it's coming up on a few years now. So maybe I'll be getting home before we know, it, before Christmas. You're getting that phone call. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sugar's a film buff. I was wondering, are you, and if you are, what film would you love to have been in? <clears throat> um, what film would I have loved to have been in? Oh God, so many, so many. But then I wouldn't, I, any films that I love, I love them as they are. So the idea of being in them then would change them. They wouldn't be what I fell in love with. But the, I saw a film about five days ago that I, I can honestly say I don't know that I've ever seen a more beautiful film. I'm not going to say it's the most beautiful film I've ever seen, but called Perfect Days. Have you seen it yet? I haven't. Oh, Perfect Days. Have a look at it. It's okay. so beautiful and it's so gentle. It's such a gentle film, but um, yeah, I looked at that and I just thought, what a wondrous thing to put that into the world. Well, perhaps you could pitch yourself for Perfect Days too? No, this is God beyond me. Oh, it's so perfect. Pardon I'm me. talking of perfect. Uh, would you make a good spy? Because Sugar's, pre I think Sugar's pretty good. Uh, are you good? Are you nosy? Can you keep a secret? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I um, I am nosy, healthily no nosy. I'm <laughs> curious. I'd be observant, you know. I take in the world around me, but um. No, I wouldn't be as handy as Sugar is at it. I love that handy. And all the roles you've played, Colin, and now you've got your own show, essentially. 
Is this what you want to do? Um, was this the aim when you first started out acting? And if so, what, what happens next? No, the aim is just to, to, to tell stories and try and make a living while you're doing it. Like, you know, that was, that was the goal initially. That was it. So, so far, so good. You know, I've been, I've been lucky because the rates of unemployment with actors are through the roof. You know, there's so many actors in so few parts. So yeah, just that, just to tell different stories and collaborate with different people. And that's the journey it's been. Yeah. I don't yeah. feel I'm any further on or back or up or down. It's, it's just all over the place. It's one kind of kaleidoscope of experience telling stories for the last 20 years. I've been jammy, you know? And that's why we love you. And your accent in this is so good, by the way. You don't oh, even hear you. anything of Irish. You're very oh, good. Nice. That took a lot of posts. That took a lot of work after the fact to clean <laughs> it all up. Stop it. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Great and to good see luck you, Lucy. Else. Thanks, Thanks a million, love. All the best. Bye.